required. So remember, first to ten. That's it. Djokovic to get us underway. If you want to challenge, you can. <laughs> Mr. Djokovic challenging the call, right service line. The ball was called out. That must have felt good. Can be good, huh? Rafa, Rafa says it's good. Rafa knows his stuff. We know what uh, Rafa will be doing post career. He's setting himself up as a linesman, and there he is on the bike. You knew he would not be able to sit still, didn't you? Yeah, they're getting ready for the next Good match. Ball, Good ball. All of the players sat port side. Richard Haig, the umpire for this first one. He's not a tall man, late, and he doesn't possess a big Waddle. kick serve. He likes to slide around the right side of the ball, so look for that slider T, slider wide. There it is again. That's his go-to serve. He's been practicing fairly frequently of late. He's playing in the doubles, isn't he, in the Australian Open with Sam Groth? Yep, and he, he played a doubles up in um, the Brisbane International. He played the fast four with Nick Kyrgios. He's not far off the pace. He just hasn't played a lot of points. There's a bit at stake here. But he just, he just thrives on competition. He'd love this. Packed house. seen four points already it's obvious that Djokovic has slightly changed his service Three motion points. hasn't he looks a little bit abbreviated to me you remember when he worked with Todd Martin all those mm. years ago he changed his motion at that point changed it back but with that elbow problem to me just this right there seems abbreviated That's not quite Pat Rafa abbreviated but heading towards it he's got the sleeve on uh, wasn't able to hit for about four and a half months uh, once he shut his season down at Wimbledon last year been hitting for about six or seven weeks or so now pace wise we're talking 170k <laughs> he's not extending himself early ah! now that is not really in Leighton's repertoire to stand up and three deliver two. like that US. he tends to want the grinding rallies but at 3-1 he was playing with the casinos chips he he rolled the dice just wide but I like the way he's thinking Leighton's at that point of his career now where you don't get $250,000 paychecks. <laughs> this is big. Tell you what, Leighton started well, hasn't he? And he's uh, he's clearly been hitting plenty of balls. And, and this is a format he actually US. likes because you know he's got nothing to lose. He can go out there and, as Wally said, have a real swing in here because you know he's got his opponent moving all over the place. Djokovic moved very well today on the court at, uh, at Kuyong. Um, as you said, he's abbreviated his, his serve a little bit to protect his arm, but it doesn't seem to be affecting his pace that much. But you know, Leighton's uh, Leighton's got the good quick jump. What are the advantages of shortening your service motion? I see, I, to me, it seems a little unnatural. And uh, you've got to remember, Pat Rafter had an abbreviated motion, but uh, had all sorts of shoulder problems. And um, I think the most, most, the best servers have the most fluid motion. Think Federer, think Sampras, Nick Kyrgios. It's relatively hard to make such a major change. 30 years of age, isn't it? I tend to think of the serve as more about the big muscles. The arm just comes along for the ride. And Novak just a little tentative. Making a lot of errors here early. 6-2. Leighton, of course, has a very flat trajectory. He almost hits the ball in and away. And it's, it's not the style of play that Novak would necessarily have been practicing against the last six weeks. Djokovic is concerned. Well, you, you're talking about a big point. 
He's a game away. He's four points yes. away. We shouldn't talk in game, should we? There's the abbreviated motion of Djokovic. Just the takeaway at the onset of the serve. Cashy didn't mind toying with his service action over the years. Yeah, just uh, got that a little early, didn't he, Novak? 7-3, Hewitt. And set the point up nicely. A few errors off the forehand, Cashy. He's dumped a few in the net, a few have flown on him. That's a big miss. Oh, it's lovely serving. Always been sneaky good, that delivery. Set him up with the wide one time and time again, and then the Eight, flat three, bomb, Hewitt. and it gets a little easier. And you've got a four-point buffer turned into a five-point buffer. Hewitt, two points away. He's in. Get in late. Oh, he wanted to get in. And then maybe went in on the wrong ball. That's a shame. Oh, lovely Hewitt. return, wasn't it? Always been considered one of the Change greatest in. returners of all time. And a nice positive start here. He knew he should have gone in earlier. He just, and then he finally probably went in when he wasn't quite inside the baseline. How does a player, when they're eight four down like this, put to the back of their mind they're only two points away from losing? Yes, Novak. He's played so many matches over the course of his career. I think he does a lot of things subconsciously. But you talk about the time away from the game, it gets tougher, doesn't it? And uh, once your imagination takes control, it gets harder and harder to play. That's why the best players tend to have a lot of matches under their belt. There's Rafa, he can't sit still. No. Getting ready for action. Oh. That was a better serve. Leighton in the uh, fast four competition, he had a lot of opportunities on break point to pick a side. Hewitt. He picked the backhand every time because he does not enjoy that wide swinging serve that drags him out of court. Then he has to hit the backhand on the run. And in that case, could not get to it. So massive point there for Djokovic. Stays in touch. The old Leighton Hewitt scamp around like a jackrabbit in the back of the court. <laughs> Eight, six. I don't know, but that gives Novak a bit of time. Just pinch it. Serve volley, Leighton. Let's go a little cheeky slider into the hip and just come in. Let's see what happens. There's that forehand flying again. And the wide serve does the damage. Hewitt. Just match points to spare. Nine, six. Hewitt. It's a brilliant return. Good for Matt Hewitt. And then Hewitt play well there. Ten six. And he gets the better of Djokovic. Uh, ten points to six. And it's Hewitt. Who's safely through to the semi-finals. Too, too many unforced errors from Djokovic. He'll be disappointed. He wasn't able to stay out there longer this evening. But delights for the fans here in Melbourne. It's Hewitt who's safely through. Yeah, Novak Djokovic, uh, well, he's not 36, is he? I told him to come back. I really mean that. He's... Uh, 
I know he's been playing doubles, but uh, he's still on in singles, that's for sure. How was it for you personally, though, and how are things a couple of days out from the first slam of the year? Well, look, you know, I'm just happy to be back on the court. It's been, uh, it's been six months since I've played uh, any competitive play. Um, today was my first match in Kuyong after six months. So it felt great to be back and to, to play without a pain. And, uh, and uh, that's, that's what matters, you know. Hopefully I'll be, I'll be able to put in some practice hours in the next few days and, and be ready for the Open. Mate, we can't wait to see you in 2018 firing again. Thanks very much. Novak Djokovic, everyone. Pat Casto is over with the winner. Well, Leighton, uh, you got a quick jump. You look, you're, you're pretty red faced at the moment. You put 110% in that. Not that it should surprise us that you do, but uh, a good start. Got a, got a quick jump away. Yeah, I think Novak was a little sluggish at the start. And, you know, in this format, you've got to take advantage of that. So I got really lucky there. And, uh, yeah, I've been hitting a fair few balls and uh, nice to hit some out of the middle tonight. Well, yeah, I think it, yeah, I think it's fair to say that uh, you're hitting the, hitting the ball well. But uh, we've got the, the match point. We'll have a little look at the match point here. But um, this is this is all Leighton Hewitt, isn't it? Well, that's not the match point up there. But uh, we've got. The, it's all about your return. I mean, you returned really well right from the the word go, and and, and made a lot of play. Yeah, well, that was my game style, you know. So. Uh, I'm a bit old to learn anything new now, so uh, just try and get as many balls back as possible, and tonight I was able to get a couple in. All right, good luck, buddy. Thanks. Well done. Yeah, we'll see Leighton Hewitt a bit later on. We're going to see this man next, Rafael Nadal.